Don't even uh, with everything that's gone on before and then your price tag and all that. Could you imagine this game any better than it went tonight? No, I think this is pretty much an ideal start for us as a team and for me as um, as a batter. You know, um, there was a lot of hype with everything going on. Um, so for me, I just really wanted to stay in the moment and you know do my best for the team. And luckily tonight it came off. Um, you walked in when it was a bit of pressure on. Uh, you that buff though on the other side, just what was the conversations uh, at that time with the, the captain who's obviously played a lot of cricket? Yeah, so Faf just said to me, let's get into good positions, um, let's run hard, and the later we, the later I'm still in, you know, the easier it'll get. Um, so for me, I've been working hard on that, um, especially building an in innings, because I've batted a lot at the end. So for me, it was quite important just to hit the sweepers hard and run nice and hard. So I don't know, just how important was it? I mean, obviously the Super Giants, uh, when they came hard at you guys, how important was it to get over the line and get that campaign off to a winning start? Yeah, I think um, there's a lot of excitement that's been around this tournament. Um, so, you know, there was a bit of nerves. You can see some of our players, you know, the opening batters, just there was a bit of nerves. But, you know, to, to pull off a win of your first game is always a great start. So hopefully we can just take the momentum and keep growing as a team and just get a couple of more wins going forward. Donovan, and, uh, you, I mean, you haven't played international cricket. Was this easily the... Best crowd you've played in front of? Yeah, well, I mean, um, this has definitely been the best crowd that I've played in um, in front of. You know, when, when the Super Giants were batting well, the crowd was getting quite loud, so it was, you know, you just have to stay in the moment. And Flem just tells us to keep busy, so if you keep busy in the field, then you just stay in the moment and you keep focus. You enjoy playing in front of such a crowd? Yeah, so it, obviously I think any cricketer enjoys playing in such a crowd. Um, we haven't had crowds like this in South Africa in a long time, you know, so. For us, it's, it's, it's super exciting and it's a good start to the tournament. And then I just want to ask, um, you mentioned it getting easier. Conditions-wise, did it get easier for you guys or was that just you getting in? I think as, as a batter, you know, the longer you bat, the easier it does get. You get used to the pace of the wicket. You get used to what the bowlers want to do. So I think definitely it looked like the, it was getting a bit easier um, under lights. It was getting on a bit more. You know, it wasn't turning as much. So. For me personally, I, I felt it got easier for myself. You know, like I say, the longer you bat, the easier it does get because you get the pace of the wicket, you get where your scoring options are. So yeah. Do you, do you, you have played quite a bit of cricket, quite a lot of provincial cricket, um, but batting with a guy like Faf, is that sort of invaluable for you as a cricketer? <laughs> yeah, I think he just keeps you calm. You know, you've got an amazing bat on the other side, um, and you see him getting into good positions. So. You know, learning, standing from the other side, just learning what he's doing and seeing what, what options he's taking. You know, and it obviously feels good when he comes to you and just says, if it's up, you can go for it and I'll back you to do it. So, you know, no, if you just hit it in the air, then it'll hopefully go for six. So, you know, um, it's, it's so nice just to have that guy backing you and it gives me as a young player a lot of confidence. So hitting it in the end, hitting it for six, <laughs> you were involved in the first catch to catch a million. Um, how cool was that? Did you know that he had caught it one-handed? Did you see it? Well, yeah, obviously I didn't think it was going to go that far and it just kept on flying and then this oak just stand up and he just stood up and he just smashed it and he just caught the ball. So we, myself and Faf, were like, cheapers, that's a brilliant catch. <laughs> so, yeah, I knew he caught it with one hand. Didn't know if that was the first one, but obviously being the first one, it's quite good. Awesome. Shot. Happy? Yeah.